Miami-Dade police officer is still in the hospital fighting for his life right now after being shot in the head. Officials say the woman who pulled the trigger is his ex-girlfriend, but not only is she his ex, she's also reportedly a former police officer. NBC6's Victor Jorge joins us from outside the hospital with new information that we have from police. Victor. Hey there, good morning. Police are now sharing new details about the moments before and after. Investigators say this woman shot this police officer, sending him here to Ryder Trauma Center. Right now, we know he is in critical but stable condition, and Miami-Dade police officers continue to show their support. His family's with him right now. Um, we continue to ask for prayer and good thoughts for him. Prayers and positive thoughts. Everything's very delicate right now, very, uh, very sensitive right now. That's what Miami-Dade police are asking for from the community as fellow officer Damien Colon fights for his life at Ryder Trauma Center. Officers filled with emotion waited outside the hospital. Well, he's still with us. He's still with us, um, you know, and, and we want to ride that positivity. Police say Colon was off duty when he was shot in the head Friday morning by his ex-girlfriend in a domestic dispute. The shooting happened at this home in Hialeah where neighbors say Colon was staying with his parents. Very sad morning. Very sad morning. Hialeah police say the alleged shooter, 32-year-old Yesenia Sanchez, a former police officer from Miami-Dade Public Schools, is in custody. New information shared by Hialeah police reveals Sanchez tracked Colon down to a home in Hialeah using an app. When she got there, she got out of her car, confronted Colon, and they argued. Police say she then shot him once and left in a getaway car, crashing it several times. She ran away from her car and police took her into custody. Police say Colon and Sanchez were in a relationship for seven years, but the relationship was over. This incident is, stems from a domestic violence incident. Colon is a 17-year veteran with the force and a father of two. The children are unrelated to the suspect. He's a good man and uh, works hard. Uh, you know, he's a family man, he has children, and he's our brother. Sanchez is still in custody and police haven't said exactly what led to the argument and the shooting. Right now, they say they want to focus on Colón's recovery. In Miami, Victor Jorge, NBC6 News.